Joan is walking bandit. And while I very quickly pour uh, some stew meat in my new crock pot, I love my little two quart uh, crock pot that my friend Frugal RV Gal told me about. I'm gonna throw some beef in here with some beef broth and forgot the beef broth. And uh, it will be ready then for dinner tonight. And we're gonna go to the movie museum. So they'll be back in just a little bit. I better hurry. I have um, 300 watts of solar, and I actually have a 100 extra 100 watts of portable if I need it, if I'm parked under a canopy or something. But I have all of that solar, and I have uh, got a little bit too much meat. I'm going to have to stuff it down here, down in there. And I have three 100 watt AGM batteries that allows me to do things like run an electric coffee pot and my. Um, in uh, inverter or converter I get them confused let me see my uh, inverter is a 3000 watt um, oh pure sign and so I have all of that set up and ready to go and I'm gonna pour my let's put a little bit of salt and pepper on here and pour my beef broth in I can't have too much pepper I have no idea how much salt to add, um, but just a little bit of pepper. And then I will pour this beef broth in here. And hopefully they will be back any moment. I don't know how much to put. We're not gonna be in the museum long. I can check it when I get back out. I'm gonna plug this puppy in. And I have it plugged into shore power. I need to plug it into my inverter turn my inverter on. Listen to this, you guys, you'll hear it. Hear that little bitty beep? That's all I have to do, and my light is on, and I'm putting this, I'm gonna think I'm, I think I'm gonna put it on high for now, so that it is getting good and hot while I am in there. Put this back in the fridge. Go check on Joan and Bandit, and we are good to go. There they are, out by the street. Joan's always where the rocks are going to be. She is teaching me how to rock paint, and I am enjoying it. I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. Walking to the museum on Western Bill Mystery. So this is how they made the Western movies out here in Alabama Hills. They'd film on one side of the rocks and then go around to the other side of the rocks and it looked like a whole different scenery.
So what'd you think, Joan? Oh, I loved it. It reminded me so much of my dad watching westerns with him. Yeah. yeah. Everybody ought to come here if they come to Lone Pine, don't you think? Absolutely. Good deal. That is so sweet of you to offer us your hose. You're welcome. Where are you oh, from? Are you camping near here? We are. We're in the Alabama Hills. Oh, excellent. Where are you from? Uh, we were in Death Valley for four nights. Oh. We're from the Bay Area. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I think we're going to camp either near Lone Pine or maybe by Independence up there somewhere. Oh, that'll be so lovely. Nice well, we meet some of the nicest people on the road. Well, it's you guys nice. Seem very to... nice, too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are we up to now, Joan? I don't know. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Sounds good. <laughs> so in 1938, what is it? Gung Gunga Den, the movie was filmed here. So Joan and I found this wonderful little spring-fed creek. My friends Gina and Tracy and I have been here before and I can't turn much uh, to, cause I don't want to get my phone wet, but there's a little waterfall up in there and it just goes up the little hill. We made it. So we hope that you have enjoyed our outing today and we didn't get into too much trouble, did we? Nope, not yet, but uh, we will go again another day. So stay tuned and thank you for being on my channel. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and we'll see you down the road. Keep on keeping on. Bye everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.